players on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Another major health threat. This one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. Call us your habits, your facts, your fears. Give us your address, your shoe size, your years. We're meant to war game and then train the robots how to be more human than human. And that's actually in USA Today Today. Serious founder envisions world of cyber clones, tech med. And the cyber clones will become more us than us and will actually tell us what to do and basically replace us. So that's the bizarreness of what the elite believe, whether that's going to happen or not. And they're waging war against humanity. I didn't know that Joe Bannister, the former Treasury agent, uh, been a frequent guest on the show and some of my earliest documentaries, has called in. He, he found out the IRS was all a big fraud and started exposing it. They tried to put him in jail repeatedly. He was found not guilty in jury trials. Another true American hero. He wanted to comment on the Kent Hovind case, a political prisoner. Now that they're openly waging... I was talking to a high-level state judge just a couple months ago. And uh, he said, no. I, he goes, it really opens my eyes. The IRS is really doing this. And it woke up a lot of judiciary that we really are in tyranny. And this is a state judge. I mean, this is really going on. And sometimes this, this is, evil is so outrageous, you can't believe it's actually happening. It's industrial scale now. It's not just a few evil guys trying to screw good people over in the system. It is a unified effort. The Republican leadership is quietly backing it. The Democrats are honshowing it and riding the beast. 
So we'll go to Joe Bannister in a moment. Sherry in Texas, uh, you had a point about 60 minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, there was an example of how our society is trying to lead us away from understanding that we are we're human beings, but we but primarily uh, we we also function from a spiritual level, you know, and connect. We can connect with God. Um, that's why intercessory prayer heals, you know. So there was this episode. Um, it was some years ago about these people with this amazing autobiographical memory. They could recall any day from their way back, three years old, two years old. Well, that's Mary Lou Henner. We've had her on the show. Okay. Well, in that show, there was a segment in the show where they um, they confused the viewers. They they showed – it was about where in the brain the activity takes place. And a guy held up the model of, the, of a brain, but instead of holding it up on the flat of his hand and then pointing very – Clearly, here's the front of the brain, here's the back of the brain, here's where the activity takes place in the right temporal lobe. He covered the front of the brain with his left hand, and then he covered, like, like holding either end of a football, he covered the back end of the brain with his right hand, and then he said, and here's where the activity takes place, and he, he, he rotated his right hand around to point to the right temporal lobe. And now, mind you, the front and the back of the brain, he shows where they are, then he covers them. And so when he points... To the, to the right temporal lobe, at that same time, the camera starts spinning, and the whole room is spinning. This is, I don't well, know. Well, you know, I mean, that might have just been an accident on the show, but I hear you, and I appreciate your call. I mean, I don't know what the point of, of, of doing that would be. What I was getting into the brain was that they have all these articles just saying, we're just animals, we don't have free will, it's all in the brain. But then the elites are trying to always influence and manipulate us, and we know there is free will. Unless you've been basically turned into a zombie. Now, I want to hurry through calls. I want to go to Mark, Bob, Daniel, many others that are patiently holding. Uh, Kent Hovind, if he just joined us, has been in jail almost 10 years. School teacher, no criminal record. Was, had reached over a billion people, 30-plus languages. His books and videos have been uh, translated into saying that the official story of uh, evolution is a fraud. Well, it's been proven a fraud. But they try to make it a scientific debate to discredit Christianity. So Christians then try to become scientists and then try to discredit that. I don't buy into Kent Hovind's you know, interpretation of the Bible completely. And I certainly know the globalist, transhumanist, eugenicist, social Darwinist are a bunch of occultists because I've studied their own writings. I've actually read what Darwin and his cousin Galton and others wrote. This was funded by the British royal family as an excuse to say the public were animals. It went back to Thomas Malthus. And saying that, you know, the 80% of the public should be exterminated. That's why you always hear that number. He said the earth had hit its carrying capacity by 1900. Well, you notice it didn't. So it's a complex issue. But that doesn't matter. He has the First Amendment. And even the New York Times admitted, and they had hearings last month, that tens of thousands of people a year are not even indicted. Their bank accounts are grabbed. If they complain, they're then indicted. And they have kangaroo juries. These are being exposed. So that's why you're getting some juries actually finding against the IRS now because they're having to seat real juries, not, you know, basically pick juries. And people are being found not guilty. But in the, in the case of uh, Dr. Kent Hovind, he's still in there. And they went after him because if they could take him down, they could take everybody down. And the law said taking $10,000 out of a deposit before taxes and you were trying to launder money or hide it, that, that you could then be indicted for money laundering if it was an association with a crime. Well, th even the New York Times admitted, well, now they do it down to a couple hundred dollars. And totally innocent people with no criminal records who were even getting after tax money. So there's a war on cash and a war on the people, but bigger than that, there is a war on Christians, real Christians, to intimidate the church to go under total government control and the faith-based initiative started by Bush, expanded by Obama, where you go to big churches now, I don't care if they're Baptist, Catholic, what it is, it's house the illegals, turn your guns in, world government's good, abortion's not that bad, Bill Gates loves you. It is amazing. And people believe the church is God now. And they will sit there and go against the teachings of Christ. I don't care if it's Methodist, you name it. And your family goes to these. I've talked to people, family I have. And they go, doesn't matter. I'm going to that church. I love that church. The church becomes God. Well, if the state runs the church. The state is now God. Now, I don't know his take on this, but uh, Joe Bannister, 
we could take an hour, you know, going over all the stuff he went through. Another hero of, of, of this fight, former Treasury agent, heard radio shows, heard the IRS was basically a collection agency of the Federal Reserve, didn't believe it, spent a year researching it, went to a supervisor and said, can you disprove this? And they said, how about you just resign? And then they tried to put him in prison repeatedly for giving speeches. Uh, but he, he got good juries and was found not guilty. But th this is not a game. The real war is here in, at home in America. But uh, Kent Hovind, Dr. Kent Hovind, he, he is still in prison, sleeping on the floor. Uh, and it doesn't matter if other cases have been overturned. They're having hearings in Congress. They tried to call him in and convict him on new stuff uh, just last month that he was found not guilty in that trial except on one charge. So they want to keep Kent Hovind in jail. Why do you think that is, Joe Bannister? Well, they, they definitely want to uh, discredit and silence uh, anybody that is a, a credible resource. And that you, know, you don't have to be an IRS special agent or former one to be credible. And uh, Dr. Hovind is obviously very credible. Um, and they, they've got to they've got to silence people like that. And, uh, you know, they tried to do it to me, and I, I was fortunate. I mean, he, he deserved justice every bit as much as I did uh, and, and didn't get it. And, uh, of course, he's making them miserable inside. Uh, I try to make them miserable outside. <laughs> but I, I really, Alex, I just appreciate everything that you guys all, all do. And I wanted to chime in to support what he asked as far as getting people upset so they'll actually uh, – you know, uh, shout out to these uh, policymakers and lawmakers, but as you've educated your listeners for a long time, there's always an ulterior motive behind the legislation that's proposed and passed in D.C., and and you're so on target. The money laundering laws and the structuring laws that you talked about, those are a part of the money laundering This is laws. what you were trained for years and have a degree in and, you know, rated real criminals, you know, that were really laundering money. Uh, describe the, the hearings in Congress, the New York Times article, and, and, and specifically why these are being misapplied. Well, there's also, these agendas, as you've, as you've described so many times, are, you know, 50-year plans, 20-year plans. They have all this stuff, you know, ginned up before they implement it. And uh, with the money laundering, they wanted to spy on all of America, really all of the world, on their cash transactions, on uh, any any financial transactions, you've talked about FinCEN, the uh, Orwellian uh, group that monitors financial transactions throughout the world, and so they used as a veneer or a smokescreen that we have to go after these drug dealers and these drug smugglers, and everybody, you know, most most Americans are like, yeah, well, let's go after them. And so they pick the bad guy to go after, and then they usher in this entire framework of a spy grid for all financial transactions and especially cash transactions. And that way they not only can trip up people uh, like Mr. Hovind, who, uh, you know, they, don't, they want to silence, but they can monitor everyone's transactions, just as the NSA does with their spying. And it's, so the ulterior motive, obviously, as is the case over and over again, is to spy on the American people. But they use some other excuse to, to do that. And, and so I just want to encourage people to absolutely scream bloody murder to the policymakers and legislators because this is a, it's just a, a Trojan horse. It's, they, they're spying on us financially, they're trying to get rid of cash and monitor cash transactions while we still have it. And it's just, a, it's, a, it's a total screw job, as you've said. Well, over well I mean, think again. about how that's a Orwellian takeover, inverting reality. If you want to use cash, you must be a criminal, admitting they're spying on everything with their financial crimes enforcement globally, FinCEN. And then on top of that, they've got Know Your Customer, which they've expanded to everything. And if I try to go to the bank and get three, four $4,000 out, if I'm going you know, overseas in case my credit cards get turned off, when I go cover Bilderberg or something, I got a crew of like six, seven people, three or four thousand dollars isn't even enough. So last time we left the country, I think we got like eight grand or something in case they turned our cards off, because we've had that done before as a form of harassment. And the bank was just like freaking out, going, We're gonna, you know, this is under ten thousand, but don't think you're not gonna get looked at. I'm like, looked at, it's after tax money or it's company money. I mean, I don't care. You know, I, I send my reporters out with like two thousand dollars cash when they take a team of three or four people to California or New York. That's not enough to even get back if their cards get turned off. Um, 
it's just crazy how they make all of us criminals and then it's not even really law